It's time to celebrate not just Cinco de Mayo, but also an anniversary. Big Top Brewing Company is celebrating its third birthday as a local Suncoast beer maker. And for all four owners are here today to help us celebrate. So you guys, introduce yourselves. Uh, Josh Wilson. Johnny Albert. Seth Moraskis. Mike Bissau. All right, so Mike, tell me how this all started, because I heard it's a funny story. Uh, drinking in a garage is the best way to, <laughs> yeah. to summarize it. Um, you know, J Josh has been homebrewing for 25 years, oh, and wow. we would be sitting in the garage drinking beer, looking at cans, saying, man, how cool would this be if one of these were ours? And we got crazy, we got wild, and, uh, you know, three and a half, four years later, here we are. All right, so tell me about what's it like, the Suncoast brewing scene? Is it something that you guys, uh, you know, are, are getting into? Are other people trying to get into it now? Yeah, it's, it's been rapidly growing. You know, when we started, there were no breweries south of Tampa, really. There might have been one or two down in the Naples area, but we were kind of the ones that said, we can, we can do this, we, we, have a, we have the ability, we have the drive, the passion to do it. Um, and now they're coming everywhere, and there's a great com camaraderie between the breweries around here. Oh, so it's good. been great. Yeah. Is it good that the industry's growing like that? Because we're kind of getting uh, our name on the map for craft beer here. We, we definitely are. You know, the, more, the, the better beer that's made south of Tampa, the more people come down from Tampa and from other areas, and we become a beer destination, which is fantastic. That's and amazing. Josh, I'm impressed with your skills. You guys, you're, you know, doing a lot of the brewing, <laughs> and you just won an award. We did. Uh, we just got a bronze medal for... Uh, best Florida beer for um, Key Lime Wheat. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's the one you got, Bobette. That's the one I got. Speaking of the one I got, let's do some tasting because you guys brought some examples. Starting on the end over there, what's the first one closest to you? That is Hawaiian Lion. I've got Hawaiian Lion. I do as well. Okay, so <laughs> well, give, it, give us a flavor profile yeah, of Hawaiian like? Lion. It's a, it's a coffee coconut uh, porter, so it's going to be very sweet. Uh, it's going to finish with a lot of coconut in the back side, and you'll get a little bit of the coffee uh, aromatics. Yeah, it tastes good, too. Does it taste like coffee, Linda? A little bit. We use yeah. a, we a, use a local bit. roasted coffee. The guy that's always at the farmer's market, his name's Java Dog, and he does a custom oh. coconut blend coffee mm, just for wow. this beer. How cool is that? So it's very so cool. We try to tie very everything very back into the oh, community. Yeah. We're very blessed to have the local following that we do, so we try to do everything we can to you know, plug into the community and give everything back. So And, and GFS isn't local, but they, they, we, we use a shredded coconut from there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You still got to pay the bottom. Yeah, yeah, you've got some cool that. names right. here. I like the names of your beers. Yeah, absolutely. What's the next one in front of you? That's going to be the Trappies Monk, which is a Belgian wit. Uh, mm. So that's going to have coriander in it. It's going to have orange in there. That's the one I have. That's a, that that, yeah, those are like one of our two name. beach drinking Yeah, beers. I was going to say, obviously yeah. the circus heritage ties back in mm. here with trapeze with and big mm -hmm. top and all of that. Well, that one's just really clean and light. Yep. Like, I don't like super hoppy beers, and this one tastes like a lounge chair and a fishing pole. It's very, <laughs> it's very light body, uh, easy drinking. Uh, it's a can crusher in the boat. A can a crusher? Can oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I love those. these descriptions. Yeah, yeah. And you guys will have to make an NA soon. How did you come up with these creative names? That's actually one of the tougher things to do. There's a lot of beer names that are taken, so you got to sit down and uh, it actually takes a few beers to figure that out, <laughs> believe it or not. So well, it's nice to have the circus it, as a yeah. theme. It you is, know? and anything we can tie into and play on that. We actually just partnered with the uh, Circus Arts Conservatory. Oh, Locally, great. they're actually going to be at our party this weekend, so it's cool. They're going to have performances as well, so we're excited to be involved with them. So That's good great. for you. Yep. Right. It would be cool to have the community name one of your beers. Like launch it and then have and everybody yeah, like name it. Oh We've yeah, done that a couple times on the, on the smaller That's scale, releasing the taster. The winner gets place. a sit back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we've done some All stuff right. with that on Facebook as well, where uh, we actually plug into the community, let them come with the recipe they want. They get to come brew with us. They get to name it, and it just makes it a lot of fun. We release it in our tap room, and it gets a lot of people involved. They just love it. I love that. Speaking about a recipe people want, this the next one is the one that won the award. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. It is a key lime wheat, uh, so we use all fresh key lime juice basically in the in the brew um, it's a uh, wheat beer it's very light 5.1 ABV so it's not very heavy in alcohol another can crusher in the boat well I like it and I'm not a beer drinker but when you drink it you don't feel that I guess beer sometimes has that little taste hoppy keeps right here yeah I don't taste that so the I like this so the bitterness, the bitterness, the bitterness right that I've been <laughs> waiting for I like that I think I'm we so need to do a Suncoast View brew ah, and have like all it. the ladies oh. out to the brewery and mix it all in. It would have to be light and fruity for the lightweights. Here. You get to design the recipe. That's all on you. You can design the recipe. You come out and brew it, and uh, we'll make a Suncoast View brew. If we sat around that. in the garage, who knows what we might come up with? That's here. right. I you like never the, know. I like the idea the of more View you brew. Drink it, the more you get ideas. All right. That's tell right. us about the IPA because I have read that IPA is the popular of the craft beers in general. It is a uh, Circus City IPA. This is an English style IPA, so it's actually a hot forward, not hot forever. Uh, it's very oh, uh, medium body. Uh, the hops and aromatics come up front and don't linger too long. 
I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> you know when you well, have beer a, you have a sip of beer and you say, "Ooh, it's so bitey." The bitter that's, beer faces we call it. Right. The bitter beer faces we call it. Oh, really? Uh, and yeah. people like that. I oh, love yeah. it, yeah. but you either—I think you either do or you don't. Would you yeah, agree with absolutely, that? Absolutely. Another thing that people like is apparently you guys won gold for something. So, yeah, so what was that? The uh, the Hawaiian Lion actually got gold for ta uh, uh, during the Tastings.com Championship. Wow. Oh, really? oh. Yeah, this one got a silver in 2015. Mm. Um, what's cool about this actually also on the can? That's actually Sarasota, kind of nice. 1920s. Oh. Um, that's the building that's still down downtown. Yes. So it's, uh, we try to bring in Florida and or uh, circuits anywhere we can. I love it. I love, love the, the fact that you guys are celebrating. Yes. I love that you're getting so much accolades. So you guys can help celebrate their third anniversary this weekend for a full schedule of activities. You want to check out their website. And coming up next, the guys are going to stick around for <laughs> some fun games. Cinco de Mayo style. We'll be right back. Cheers. Cheers.